Hey, good morning, everybody. So what we're doing today is kind of finish up the main part of the notes for the circuitry system. I uh, still have to go through some of the diseases and some of the issues that can happen with the, core, or the circuitry system. Uh, today is going to be kind of those last day for those key notes. So again, reminder, remember the main function of the circuitry system is transportation. So it's carrying the kind of the materials that our body needs where our body needs it. So it's carrying oxygen to the cells, create energy, our nutrients allow us to build our cells. It's getting rid of waste from our body, carrying carbon dioxide. So we can kind of exhale that, also hormones and antibodies. So what we'll be looking at today is or the kind of last little bit today. So we've already talked about the heart and the blood. So today we're going to be going through is we're going through the blood vessels. All right, so we're kind of looking at what the blood vessels are and a little bit about what they do. All right, so we're we'll looking at kind of three main types as well as a couple of the kind of subcategories within there that I'll talk about individually. So when we're looking at the blood vessels, there's kind of the three major types of blood vessels. We have arteries, veins, and capillaries. Uh, again, the key thing here is they're basically hollow tubes that simply circulate your blood throughout your body. All right, so they basically break off into smaller and smaller tubes until eventually they get to the capillaries right, where they can distribute the materials in the blood to the cells. So when we're looking at the arteries, arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. So one of the key things to kind of remember here is that, you know, arteries start with the A, so they carry blood away. Okay. So when the heart is pumping the blood, it pumps the blood into the arteries, all right, to carry it to the rest of the body. So the main arteries we call the aorta. All right, so when we're looking at the heart itself, let me jump back to one quick. Yeah, so the aorta is kind of right up here on the top. So remember it goes from, you know, kind of blood flowing through the heart, right? Enters the right atrium from the body. So we remember we have the deoxygenated blood that goes to the right ventricle, right? And then it pumps out to the first artery. So this is the pulmonary artery. So remember the kind of key things, artery is carrying blood away from the heart. So in this case, it's going away from the heart into the lungs. Remember pulmonary refers to the lungs. And then it comes back into the left atrium, to the left ventricle. Right, and that's where it gets to the aorta, which is the first major artery right, where blood is kind of leaving the heart right, to go to the rest of the body. Right, from here, it branches off. You can see it branches off into three different arteries as well as one that continues down that will go to the lower part of the body. And let me jump back to arteries quick. Yeah. So the aorta divides and branches is kind of like we saw. There's many, many smaller arteries kind of throughout the body. So basically, each region of the body has a system of arteries supplying with fresh, oxygen-rich blood. So the arteries, arteries do travel kind of throughout your body because they're carrying blood to the body. Right? That way, your cells and on different parts of your body are getting everything that they need in order to survive. But the key thing is arteries carry blood away from the heart. Right? So when we're looking at arteries, what they do is they do break off into smaller branches. So they do branch off. All right, once they get to a certain size, they become what we call arterioles, which are smaller arteries. They're just basically the same thing, just smaller. And then eventually they will get to the capillaries where the oxygen and the key nutrients will be exchanged. All right. So the capillaries then are very, very thin. They're normally only one cell thick. So because of this, they're not as durable or strong as the arteries or veins. All right, so they do connect to the arteries, veins, but the key thing here, this is where food and oxygen is released to the body. All right, so carbon dioxide and other waste products return to the bloodstream. Right, the capillaries is where those things are being exchanged. So let me pause here. Okay, so looking at this kind of an image, what we see is we see, you know, that we have our capillary here. Right, again, it tends to be just one cell thick. All right, but in the capillaries where oxygen nutrients are moved into your body's cells. All right, so we have red blood cells carrying oxygen. All right, as they continue to move through the capillaries and then eventually get to our veins, what we're going to see is we also see carbon dioxide and waste being added. So in the capillaries, this is where, again, nutrients and oxygen are exchanged for waste and carbon dioxide. So in the arteries, our blood tends to be oxygen rich. and our veins, our blood tends to be oxygen poor. All right, so looking at the veins, again, they carry blood to the heart. So one of the key things and what's... One of the key differences between an artery and a vein, arteries carry blood away from the heart, veins carry blood to the heart. So they receive blood from the capillaries, uh, which tends to be, you know, waste rich or you know, has more waste products uh, and less oxygen. 
but it's carrying blood back to the heart and lungs to be able to get rid of that waste and add more oxygen to it. Uh, remember, we do have the valves that are located inside the veins, just like we see inside the heart. <clears throat> and we'll look a little bit more about how that works on the next page. But again, the key thing is those valves allow blood to move in just one direction. And right, so let me pause real quick here. Okay. So kind of looking at this as an image, we can see here, all right, again, we start in our heart. So it comes out of that, you know, the right ventricle through the aorta, all right? Then it goes into the arteries. And right, like I had mentioned, the, what they do is they go from arteries to arterioles. Arterioles are just, again, smaller arteries. So as the arteries begin to branch off into smaller, smaller pieces or smaller tubes, they become arterioles. All right, eventually become the capillaries, which again are those very, very thin blood vessels where the, that allows oxygen and nutrients to be exchanged for waste and carbon dioxide. Right, and then they go into what we call venules. Venules, again, are basically just these smaller veins before we get into the actual veins that reach back to the heart. So that's kind of looking at the major types of blood vessels. The three, the made, three major types are veins, arteries, and capillaries, and then venules and arterioles are kind of the minor types. Uh, the other thing that we did mention was the valves. Remember, valves ensure blood flows in one direction throughout the circulatory system. So we're looking at kind of like what ba a basic valve, how it works, is it's a one-way valve. So in this case, you can see blood's being pumped up, and then as it goes up, the valve kind of opens. So blood pumps up, it opens, and then as it's kind of between beats, it's going to pause, and that valve will shut, so that way blood can't flow backwards. Uh, we do have diseases and issues that can cause the valves to not work function correctly. So you can see here where you know the valve is not able to seal correctly, so blood can flow up, but then it comes right back down. So it makes it very, very difficult to keep the blood flowing in the body. Right. Yeah, and blood composition we've already done. So I said today is just kind of a quick walkthrough of the different types of blood vessels we have, right? And kind of the, what each of them does. Remember, we have the arteries that carry blood away from the heart, right? veins that carry blood back to the heart, and then capillaries is where that exchange occurs where oxygen and nutrients get into the cells, right? and then waste and carbon dioxide is carried away from our cells. Right? So if you have any questions or need help with anything, again, make sure you check in the Zoom session or email me. Otherwise, have a good day.